What's up guys, welcome to another episode of the Adobe Flash Memorial Marathon. Today I'm playing Boss Slayer on Tyrone's Unblocked Games, and I'm going to be trying to beat it as quickly as possible. So if you've never heard of Boss Slayer before, it's basically like Galaga or Space Invaders or one of the games like that, um, where you're a tiny little spaceship and you have to shoot at the invading enemies, except that every single round it's just the bosses, so it's going to be really big uh, spaceships that you're trying to fight off. So what it says is, 10 giant spaceships are coming to attack Earth. You have to destroy them all in less than 12 days. When you die, you'll be resurrected and you'll keep all the money you got. So each round, or each attempt, is a day. You have 12 attempts to try and beat all of the bosses. So this is the workshop. This is where you visit in between days. Um, and you can cash in the money that you collected each round. So you can increase the rate of fire, the bolts per shot, the movement speed, the amount of lives you have, the amount of money you get every time you collect it, and how far you can collect items from. So right now we have $20, that's just enough to buy either rate of fire or bolts per shot, so I'm just going to get the rate of fire, and let's begin. So you just use the arrow keys to move this, you can also use the mouse, but I'm just using the arrow keys. Um, as you can see there's kind of a pattern that the boss drops these things in and you have to try and avoid them. I've already been hit twice, so I'm all out of lives, but I took it down and as you see I get money and an extra life. So if you look at the bottom left screen, I am at one life right now. This one, they track you and shoot out, so you just kind of have to have this swaying motion back and forth. And then, if you look at the top where the health bar is, there are different segments to it. Every time you break one of those segments, more money comes out, but it gets progressively harder to stay alive. Ah, uh, so I got killed right there. I now have $130 to spend. I'm going to increase the amount of bullets per shot, as well as the rate of fire again. And as you can see, beating the first boss is a lot easier now. So here's the second one where I died that money. And that was a lot easier this time. I'm back up to three lives. And this one you have to try and stay a little bit ahead of it. That way your bullets um, hit it when it finally lags a little bit there. So right now my bullets aren't hitting at all because I was behind it. But now I'm ahead of it and my bullets are continuously hitting. I'm not worrying about the money because I'm just trying to beat this round. Oh, now I have to just... There we go. I'm down to zero lives. Yes, so you get a lot more money when you finally kill it than in each of the rounds, so I just try and kill it to get that money first, rather than worrying about collecting the money in the middle of the fight. This is another one where they're tracking you. Oh, I timed that horribly. Now, for this one where it's moving back and forth, I also recommend being up real close to it. You will lose lives quicker, but you're able to focus in those bullets on it, the spaceship and kill it quicker. Here, it's fine to be near the bottom of the map, though, because the bullets are able to spread out fully because it's so large. I'm just gonna buy a little bit of everything if I have enough. Yeah, they don't even get a chance to fire some of the early on spaceships when you get really powered up. But you basically need to buy every single power up in order to defeat the final boss. It's just how quickly you can do that. So I'm trying to maximize the amount of money I get per round. go. That one was easy that time. This one moves back and forth a lot again, so I'm going to try and get close to it. As you can see on these little starbursts though, they shoot out on the horizontal, the vertical, and on each of the diagonals. So what I try to do is place myself right under that horizontal. That way it can't hit me as long as I'm not too close to it. This one I recommend being near the bottom because I'll give you the most time to react to the different uh, layers that are dropping down. Uh, but the problem is then the, the yellow bursts spread out even more. These first couple rounds just become instant cash, basically. This one shoots out lasers, so you have to make sure you're not on the white line when it turns to orange. And then I just stay in this channel here at the bottom. That gives me the most time to dodge everything. I'm just going to do what I did last round where I dodge back and forth in between the starbursts, making sure to dodge every time the laser tries to shoot, which at this third stage becomes pretty quick. 
There we go. This little guy shoots out lasers. He's very annoying. I have to stay in between these horizontal channels. And then I'm going to try and do the thing where I stay slightly ahead of it so that my bullets are focused onto it. Okay, this guy shoots out a bunch of lasers coming from those two points that he has at that front there. And then as long as you're moving pretty much most of the time, you're good because those little trackers come out so infrequently that they are not really a problem. You have to look out for those horizontals though and make sure you're in between one of those channels. And then just staying ahead of the lasers, you should be pretty good. I'm down to zero lives though, so at a certain point you can't make it past there. I'm just trying to stay up real tight to this guy. Blast all of them into him. I, I think I'm gonna die here though because this is kind of stupid putting myself so close to everything. Oh yeah, I just got the final upgrade for amount of bullets. That means I'm completely maxed out except for the amount of lives. Let's see if we can do it though. Not need that extra life. This final upgrade on the amount of bullets is super incredible. As you can see, it doesn't actually add any bullets, it just makes them all pink, which I, I think might maybe like double the amount of damage they do or something like that which is kind of OP. I should definitely be able to win this round. This is the second to last boss. I died here last time, so I need to make sure I'm not doing that same thing again where I'm real tight to the, to the spaceship. So try and be right underneath that horizontal again. Same thing I did on some of the early rounds with the Starburst. There we go. I think this is the final boss. This guy is crazy. I'm going to lose a lot of lives, but as long as I can just push through it and keep damaging him as well, we should be good. Ooh, extra life. He does randomly drop extra lives, which is amazing. Yes. Or, oh no, he has more stages than most of the other bosses do. Yes! You saved the world in nine days. Congratulations. Nine days, that's pretty good. That's three quarters of the amount of time they give you. So, see if you guys can beat it in under nine days. Let me know in the comments. I will see you in tomorrow's video, so bye.